Hey, 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 thanks for stopping by my channel today. If you're here for the very first time, welcome. If you are returning, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back, baby. I'm glad to have all of y'all stop by today, okay? Today I have some beautiful white Valentine's decor that I am going to be styling in my bathroom, my guest bathroom. And so if you're interested in seeing what I created, keep on watching and all of them are easy, super, super duper easy, high end, and I love all of them. So you have to let me know what you think in the comments at the end, baby. All right. So let's jump right into it. Let's get it and let's go. All right. We have three y'all. And so the first one is this jumbo foam heart from the Dollar Tree. I have some of the tacky glue from the Dollar Tree as well as some of <clears throat> the uh, streamers. Okay. I couldn't even think of it. All right, so what I'm going to do is I have this little leftover um, paint stick that I use in something else. And um, I'm going to take this streamer and just keep wrapping it and wrapping it and wrapping it and wrapping it and wrapping it several times. Okay. And um, I'm going to do, you know, several of these so that I can create enough of what I need. And so I'm just going to split it down on that side, cut it with some little shears and cut off the excess. And then I'm going to take that off and then I'm going to cut it in where it folded in the middle. And so I have all these little pieces of string. And so what I'm going to do here now <coughs> is use that tacky glue, tacky glue, excuse me. And I'm going to get me a generous amount. I've got to do this in sections, okay? So don't try to cover the entire thing. Do this in sections. So I am taking me one of the little sponges off of, uh, from, the, from the Dollar Tree. And I am going to take the end off of that because it was already about gone, okay? And I wrapped the um, streamer piece around in a circle on that little stick and placing it down on the glue. So I'm going to do this several times here on camera, just twisting it around and just kind of twisting it around so it will adhere to the tacky glue. So um, I'm just going to keep doing this until I get the entire front covered. Now, you can do the back if you want, but I'm not doing the back. I'm not doing the back because um, I'm just not going to do the back, okay? Uh, this was a little bit tedious, but it was fun. It was fun, and I will say this. It was very, very relaxing. Very, very relaxing. So, I'm just going to um, keep doing it here on camera, and then we'll come back with it almost done to show you how it came along. So, keep on watching. All right, we have gotten this far and I'm going to take this uh, wood dial here and I painted it white and this is the pretty thicker size one and I got this one from a pack came from either Walmart or Dollar General, either one. And I stuck it down in the middle, okay? So then now I can control the bottom part of the heart and I am just going to continue to fill these little ruffles up it is turning out so so pretty just the way that i thought it would and i'm in love with it already and it's not even finished okay so again you can do the entire thing okay now i will say if you're going to like use these and sell these you know to someone or gift them to someone i would suggest do the entire thing okay now, I'm going to have these in my bathroom, and so uh, we don't have a whole lot of company, but a little bit of company that we do have. They just going to see the front side, okay? <laughs> because by the time Valentine's has come and gone, baby, we not going to have nobody over here, all right? So, look how beautiful that is. So, I am taking this uh, 
canned good and I painted it white and I stuffed some foam inside and I just took the stick and stuck it on down, okay? And I am going to take this beautiful ribbon right here. Y'all, I love this ribbon. And I'm just going to take a little bit of hot glue and just glue this on. If you have not gotten your hands on this ribbon from the Dollar Tree, it is phenomenally beautiful, okay? And it comes in several different colors. So whenever I see it, I always pick it up because it has that netted look. You know, and at first when I saw it, I was like, I don't know if I like that. But listen, baby, I absolutely love it. So I always buy it when I see it, okay? And so we are stuffing it down with this beautiful um, shredded paper right here from the Dollar Tree as well. And what I'm going to do now, I'm sorry that I'm not all the way in focus at this point, is use some more of that ribbon. And I am just creating a bow. And I did use some jute twine to um, tie the bow in the center. And I'm going to take some of these little buttons here because I love embellishing with these buttons, y'all. Okay. I found me a little pipe one out of there. And that is how that came out. And what I'm going to do here, right here, I'm just kind of fixing it up. I slowed it down a little bit. And I'm just going to trim off a little bit of the extra of the um, ribbon to make sure that looks neat. And this is how it turned out. I think it turned out so, so beautiful. You have to let me know what you think. Isn't that so lovely? I absolutely love it. All right, for our second DIY, I'm gonna use one of the wood hearts from the Dollar Tree. I used this last year and I decided to redo it and I gave it a fresh coat of white paint. And I also took some spatulin and filled up the little holes where the jute cord was. And um, because I want to make it a hanging sign, but I, really don't like seeing the um, hanging part of the sign. That's just my preference, y'all. So I am taking some of that ribbon again, and I am just um, gluing it down on the back, and, and I made sure that I slanted the ribbon so it would have a slanted form. Now, I hope you can see it on camera because it's white on white. And so what I'm going to do now is take these beautiful roses here and I'm just going to pull a few of them off as well as the greenery off and we are going to do some embellishment. So keep on watching. All right, we added a hanger to the back with some jute core from Walmart, and I used some more of that ribbon to create a bow as well as a button. 
just to, you know, cover up that juke. And now I'm taking some of this chip, so I like to call it baby breath, baby's breath, and um, adding it to it just to give it a little bit more swag, okay? <laughs> if you're new here, listen, I doll things up. That's why it's called Ivy Doll, but not because of this. Ivy Doll is just the name because I started off the channel with makeup, okay? And some more of that is coming too, so stick around. But yeah, I love, love, love how this turned out, y'all. Simple, but beautiful, all right? Now, for our final DIY, I'm going to take one of these beautiful white vases from Dollar Tree. They already come with these little ribs in them. They come in white and black, yes. And I am just taking some more of that ribbon. But I cut off two strips and cut both of them in half to make four strips, okay? And then I wrapped the middle with some jute cord just to make sure that it was together. Trying my very best to create a messy bow. Listen, I'm not good with bows, y'all. So that's why I always do the messy ones because it's easier for me and I love it, all right? So what I'm going to do now is get this glue down on this beautiful vase or vase whatever you call it okay and then we are going to fill it up with some of the white roses as well as the baby's breath and um yeah y'all know i'm gonna have to put a little button on here to cover up that juke now okay i love these colorful buttons if you you know are a beginner get you some of these buttons honey if you don't know how to really make bowls baby because it'll cover up that middle all right but it's it also gives it that cute little accent as well okay all right so we're gonna take these florals and we're gonna fill it up so keep on watching All right, you have seen three easy, high, and white Valentine decor DIYs, and they were all on a budget. I had so much fun creating. Now, I would love to hear from you. If you like anything, go ahead and like it. Leave me a comment and tell me what it is that you do like. If this is your type of content, easy, high, and DIYs on a budget, baby, subscribe and hit the bell as well. So you don't miss out. Okay? You don't want to miss out on what's coming next. Hi. All right. So I'm about to show you the final reveal of everything together. So just keep on watching. That's it, that's it, that's it, y'all. That is it for these easy high and white decor for Valentine's. That I DIY'd. Okay. Listen, y'all. I had a lot of fun. I really, really did. It was relaxing. I really, really needed to relax. You know, so much has gone on already in the new year, but I'm grateful to God for it all. Because, you know, Jesus, he really loves me. This I know. 
Why? Because the Bible tells me so. There's no greater love. There is absolutely no greater love than the love of God. And I thought I was not going to create a whole lot of Valentine's DIYs, but maybe I am all because of the love that Jesus has for all of us. He died for us, you know, and so there's no greater love. And I am just so grateful for each and every one of you. New subscribers, welcome to the channel and thanks for joining. I appreciate you all. Oldies but goodies. Listen, y'all know how I feel about you. I cannot express the love that I have for y'all. You all help this channel be exactly what it is. So, again, thanks for watching. And make sure that you understand exactly what love really is. He is the example, the perfect example of love. So again, blessings to you all in this 2024. And there's a lot more in store. So thanks for watching the video from the beginning to the end. I'm going to catch y'all in the next one. Bye-bye.